Paula is a proud truck. She transports a lot of things over long distances throughout the country, admiring the beautiful landscape and enjoying nature along the way. But from time to time, Paula is stuck in traffic and surrounded by many other trucks. She's sick of it. After all, she and her friends spew a lot of exhaust into the air. Paula dreams of the day when she can travel without emissions and without harming the environment, just like the railway. If only she could ride the trains. Rail travel is environmentally friendly, but the trains rarely have enough space for Paula since they are usually filled to capacity. And Paula would also like to drive emission-free to the loading station. Her friend, a passenger car, tells her that he's driving with an environmentally friendly battery. Paula would also like to have a fast electric motor of her own, but the batteries are way too heavy and Paula would hardly be able to carry anything else. It also takes much too long to charge the battery and Paula doesn't have time for that. Paula learns from a city bus that he's now running on hydrogen and that nothing but water comes out of his exhaust pipe. Paula finds that really amazing. She talks to an expedition truck who's traveled all over the world and explains that a lot of emissions are generated in the production of hydrogen and that there isn't nearly enough green hydrogen in the world. In fact, it would be impossible to build enough windmills to fuel all the trucks with hydrogen. She also discovers that it would cost a lot more to fill her tank. And Paula can't afford that. While on a break, Paula sees a tractor that runs on biofuel. But the tractor tells her that it's the same problem as with hydrogen. There isn't enough biofuel. And it's almost much too expensive unless you produce it yourself. It's also better to use the fields to grow food than to turn crops into fuel. Feeling sad, Paula is waiting at a railway crossing when a locomotive calls out to her. Why don't you just do what I do? I run on power from an overhead line. That's the best way to do it. Funny, Paula muses. She'd never even considered the possibility of overhead lines for trucks. If there were such a thing for trucks, wouldn't that be a fantastic solution? But what happens when she drives to places where there aren't any overhead lines? Paula considers the problem, and soon she has an idea. Why not just bring along a small battery or some hydrogen as a backup on those routes? That way, she can zip down the highway and drive everywhere she wants without hauling a heavy load and without it all being much too expensive. Since then, Paula has been happily traveling along overhead lines with the pantograph. Many other trucks see her drive by and ask a lot of questions. After all, Paula knows her stuff by now. Paula is happy to answer all their questions. She reports that pantographs aren't all that heavy and that overhead lines are much more affordable than you might think. Now more and more trucks want to drive the roads with pantographs. And there are more and more overhead lines throughout the world. You're very likely to see one of Paula's friends, trucks that are following her example, on the highway sometime soon.